Hey everyone, this is going to be a continuation of the last tutorial, which was making a menu in Java, and that is this continuation. We're going to be making something we did with that quit button, except it no longer says quit. Let me just show you quickly here. It now says difficulty, and when we click on this difficulty button, um, it's going to paint easy or hard here, and it's going to toggle it when you click it, and when you start the game the game will be harder or easier and what I mean by this is that um let me just come here the sleep time of the ball the thread sleep is how fast the ball moves and the faster the ball moves the harder the game is going to be and just one quick thing I've changed from the source code you will have picked up last time and that is the thread sleep for the paddle is now five I think it was like nine or something before um, but it's five now, so that's that. Um, there's also I'm going to change this to twenty five because the paddle goes a little bit off the screen. Let me just check that works quickly. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so now that we have this, um, instead of having a fit thing of seven, we're going to create an integer called difficulty, and I'm just gonna write that now. So the thread is going to sleep for the integer of difficulty, and we'll just make that now at the top, um, int difficulty, and we, um, by default, we are going to make it, let's say, 7, and 7 will be easy difficulty, because that moves quite slowly. So by default it's 7, we're going to make a new method called set difficulty public void set difficulty and it's going to take an one integer called diff <coughs> and we're just going to set difficulty equal to diff there we go and diff with two f's because that's our variable and now that we have this uh, set method we're going to come into our main dot java and we're going to do three things one is we're going to toggle we're going to set the difficulty toggle it between easy and hard when the person presses the button and the next thing we're going to do is paint easy or hard when you toggle it and actually that's pretty much it so we need a new boolean called um let's see um we'll just call it hard hard difficulty and by default this is equal to false. So this hard difficulty boolean is going to be the toggle between uh, easy and hard and we'll um, paint it first here. Let's see the difficulty hover. Um, just thinking where to put it. We've written difficulty here. Um, and actually right so under our draw string method we want to say if not hard difficulty. If the difficulty isn't set to hard, which by default it isn't, so it's easy, we will say g g dot set color and we're going to set it to color dot cyan and then we're going to draw a string. Damn it. Oh, what's going on here? draw a string and we're going to say easy and then place it at difficulty button dot x plus say 65 and difficulty button dot y and plus 25 I guess wait what's it on this plus 17 that's what it should be and then we're gonna say else so in other words if it is hard difficulty we're gonna set the color to red color dot red and then we draw a string and I'm just gonna copy this and it's gonna say hard so now let's run this just to see and as you can see actually we can't see cyan on top of cyan, that was a bit silly, so we'll put it blue instead. 
Right, so we have difficulty easy by default. When we click on it, nothing actually happens yet. We haven't set our toggle, so we're going to do that now. And in our mouse handler, it's going to be mouse pressed. So we need to copy this whole statement here. And in notepad, <coughs> I'm going to replace the word difficulty with, or replace the word start with, with difficulty, replace all, and then copy that and close it, just for ease, and then I'll paste that in here. Right, so when difficulty button is clicked, we need an if statement to toggle it. So if not hard difficulty, in other words, if it's on easy, then we want to say hard difficulty equals true. <clears throat> so if it's set to if it's not on hard difficulty, set it to hard difficulty. Else, so if it is on hard difficulty, then difficulty set it to false and that effectively toggles it um, that should make sense to you and just before that we're going to add um, B which is our ball object and then set difficulty and if it's if it's already set to easy we want to set it to hard and a hard speed is about 4 and then we'll copy that see else easy speed which is about 7 so let's test this now um, as you can see when we toggle it, I'm just going to make the harder capital letter being uh, precise about it. There we go. So it easy and you can see when we click it, it toggles. If we leave it on easy and start game, the ball is moving at a nice steady pace. Um, if we do it again and we toggle it to hard this time and start the game as you can see the ball is moving really fast and it's more difficult to play so that's pretty much it for this tutorial how to do that little toggling feature I just felt <clears throat> we needed a use for that other button that we didn't use so hopefully this all made sense and you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please subscribe join the forums and I will see you later guys